Yeah, so you're looking at a dirty coffee table because I have something to show you. And it's relevant to this video because, well, title, title card that plays before this, presumably. So yeah, let's just get to it. This is Kirby's Dream Collection, the special edition for the Nintendo Wii. And this special edition Dream Collection contains a Wii game disc, a CD soundtrack, and a collectible book. Ooh, ah. Let's take a look at the back of the box for some strange reason. Yeah, let's show you all the classic titles that are available on this disc, including Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Dream Land 2, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Land 3, and Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. The first six major significant Kirby games in the Kirby franchise. And uh, you got new challenge stages, you have a history, a look back at Kirby's history, including a couple episodes of the, uh, the Kirby uh, animated series. And uh, every game has been customized to work with the Wii Remote, although if you prefer you could use the classic controller or the Nintendo GameCube controller and uh, yeah I usually just stick with the classic controller so yeah that, that, that's the uh, box it's a pretty small box actually now some of you might remember a couple of years ago that Nintendo put out the Super Mario All-Stars limited edition for the Nintendo Wii and for those of you who have known about that and have actually played it will probably recall the disappointment that you felt when you realized that that collection was nothing more than a booklet, a half-assed soundtrack, and a glorified ROM dump of Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo without any modifications whatsoever. I personally liked the set, you know. You know, as a collector's item, I thought it was worthwhile, but uh, even I have to admit that when it comes to the actual software, it was half-assed. This, they actually, they didn't have a Super Nintendo compilation to uh, rip off. So, they actually had to put some work into this, and they did a really... I mean, we'll see in the, in the game footage, but... Uh, the box is kind of small, though, I find. You know, I guess, you know, even the first time I opened this, yes, it's not fresh, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of a hard time opening this up, but uh, yeah, so just slip that out. That's your little, uh, your celebration uh, booklet, your 20th anniversary, and it just gives you some, all the logos for all the Kirby games, and it gives you a bit, a bit of a timeline, a bit of artwork, you know, Kirby's Dreamland, it just goes through, gives you a brief primer on each of the games that come out, some, uh, background uh, behind the scenes stuff, some sketches and stuff. It's a really, you know, more than anything usually pick these up for little things like this because, you know, they really add to the package overall. And, uh, yeah, you got the uh, same as the cover art. And they even give you a little guide while well, you have the soundtrack listing. Which, as you can see here, it's all, you know, songs from the various Kirby games. And none, none of them being single sound effects, like in the Mario uh, CD. And your staff credits, you don't really need that. And, uh... Yeah, that's really all there is to it, actually. You know, so it's a nice little uh, add-on. And then, of course, you have the Kirby Dream Collection Special Edition, the, uh... The actual game disc, and again, same stuff we already know. It contains Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Adventure, Dreamland 2, Superstar, and uh, they they painstakingly painstakingly let you know that the original graphics and content have been preserved in Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition, which means they didn't fiddle around and upgrade the sounds or anything like that, or, or change the graphics around. It's all emulated. It's as if you were playing the games on the virtual console, pretty much. And of course, again, you know, you have the history, the timeline, and the uh, challenge stages, which they got from uh, the other Kirby game, Return to Dreamland, I think it is. Which, uh, you know, you get a little extra bonus there. And of course,
course you got the uh, instruction manual which uh, isn't much there's much to it you got the pretty basic straightforward instructions mind you it's mostly you know they mostly for the Wii remote but uh, you could sort of like mix and match with the classic controllers and the classic controller controls are easy to figure out B is B A is A you know and Super Nintendo functions are the same as the Super Nintendo especially if you played the older games back in the day so uh, yeah anyways it's a nice it's in color so you know that's kind of a little bonus a little touch there it's kind of pointless to say that that much I know but a lot of the games that I, I come across for the Wii and for other consoles especially these days they usually have a black and white interior pages so now we got the soundtrack CD which uh, I haven't listened to yet but uh, should be interesting and then you got the uh, the game CD there so uh, that's the Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition that's the outside so let's look at the inside I'm gonna switch to game footage right about now so So yeah, Kirby's Dream Collection for the Nintendo Wii. For anyone who was disappointed by the half-assed nature by which Nintendo handled the Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition release from a couple years back, you'll be happy to know that Kirby's Dream Collection is a vastly superior compilation, as more work went into this than the Mario compilation, which was nothing more than a ROM dump of an old 1993 Super Nintendo compilation. That's certainly not the case here, as Kirby's Dream Collection is packed with content. Aside from the Celebration Booklet and the Soundtrack CD, you're getting six games in this compilation, including Game Boy titles Kirby's Dream Land 1 and 2, Kirby's Adventure, the sole NES Kirby entry, Kirby's Dream Land 3 and Kirby Superstars originally on the Super Nintendo, and finally Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Yeah, I, I don't need to tell you what console that game originally appeared on, it should be obvious from the title. For all intents and purposes, the six games featured on this compilation are the original games without any alterations or modifications made to any of them. There are no graphical updates or sound remixes to be found in any of these games. They're the exact same games you played on the original Game Boy, NES, Super NES, and N64 hardware. Well, not so much N64. Now you've got a real gamepad in the classic controller, and even the Wii Remote I find is a better substitute than the N64 one, but... Yeah, all six games in their original incarnation just as you remember them. On the one hand, great, fantastic. There aren't going to be any unwanted surprises when you play the games. They'll be just as you remember them from the original cartridges, which is great. On the other hand, well, this is only a minor nitpick, but it would have been nice to see the two Game Boy entries be given a proper coloring. As it is, they're presented in a faded monochrome scheme, which is fine. The Game Boy was originally monochrome after all, but I would have liked to have seen that extra care given to those games and giving those games a bit of color. Then again, I could only imagine that they wouldn't stop there and try to do other stupid things in the process, so I'm guess leaving these untouched was probably the best thing they could have done when putting this collection together. It's, again, it's only a minor nitpick, not a big deal or anything. Would have been nice, especially since we had things like the Super Game Boy and the Game Boy Player that had colorizing functions, but whatever. Just as a technical aside, the collection, much like most recent games, is optimized for widescreen 16 to 9 television setups. So if, if you're playing on a TV that's set up at 4 to 3, the standard box, you're gonna get black bars during the new stuff. But then again, at 4 to 3, you'll play the console games at full screen. Whereas 69 will be the original aspect ratio thing with a border around it, which is how they handle the Game Boy games. Kinda. Sorta. 
Anyways, that's the meat of Kirby's Dream Collection. Six classic Kirby games as originally presented with suspending play functionality. And it's a nice compilation, but Kirby's Dream Collection doesn't stop there. There are new challenge stages based off the recent Kirby Wii offering Return to Dreamland, which I've never played, but hey, in that regard, it's a nice little sampler to that game. That serves two purposes, one to offer additional challenges to the overall package, and also as an incentive to perhaps plop a few more bucks on the other game. I actually enjoyed these. Not any good, I don't mind you, but they're well done and it's a little extra that they throw in there for good measure. And then there's the Kirby History which is a timeline showing you all the Kirby games that have been released up to that point, and you can watch little sample videos of each of the games. There's some historical tidbits here and there, and they even included three episodes of the Kirby anime series, which I thought was a nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but it was a nice touch, and the video quality overall is pretty good. I can't really complain all that much, really. Overall, Kirby's Dream Collection really lives up to its name. Showcasing six classic Kirby games and offering a bevy of additional challenge stages and a historical look back, I thought this was really well put together in a really slick, top-notch collection that I wish they had done with the Mario setup from a couple years back. The only real negative to Kirby's Dream Collection relates to the Wii Virtual Console, depending on how much you've supported. Because out of the six games in the collection, only the two Game Boy entries aren't available on the Virtual Console. The others, such as Kirby's Adventure, Kirby 64, Kirby's Superstar, and Kirby's Dreamland 3, are all available on the Virtual Console, and if you Wii owners already have those four on the Virtual Console, then it'll be up to you to decide whether the rest of the package will be worth forking over another $40. But even with that out of the way, for 40 bucks, you're getting a ton of crap to blow through. Six classic Kirby games, a number of challenge stages, an historical retrospective, a nice little collector's booklet, a soundtrack, some TV episodes. Yeah, it's a pretty substantial package that makes for a nice little collector's item, and it's also a very entertaining and enjoyable collection of games. Without question, if you get a chance to snag this one, by all means don't hesitate, go for it. Especially right now while it's still cheap, because you know it won't be long before the price gouging starts to kick in and people start asking for ridiculous prices. And I've already had a hard time trying to find a copy on that first week because few people were carrying them. But all that aside, Kirby's Dream Collection, very nice, very well done, well worth it.